In this short episode I will demonstrate how to attach rubber pellet band to hook's eye. I have to say when lure fishing, I know more, most of the time what I'm doing. So and when lure fishing, for me it's very very important to have a hook's point pointing towards me or towards angler. And when fishing for carp on the surface using some kind of uh, controller float or uh, just free lining, exactly the same principle applies. You want them, that the hook's point would be pointing towards the angler in case if you are, will be free lining or towards the float, whether it will be controller or a vertical float. So in this short video I will demonstrate how to tie this little rig or how to attach pellet band to hook's eye and also I will demonstrate how to attach a hook bait so some kind of a floating biscuit onto that band. Uh, there are two ways uh, as well to do that. And also before going any further I have to explain that uh, it wasn't me who came up with this kind of uh, idea attaching the pellet band onto Hook's eye. Uh, it was actually Alfie Naylor who showed me that it's a very very good uh, way to catch and hook carp. Uh, and uh, Alfie was shown this kind of idea by Brian Scholes who I think uh, invented or came up with that kind of uh, idea. Or at least I don't uh, know uh, that it could uh, have been someone else. Steps are quite simple. First of all you need to choose the correct hook. In my opinion and uh, all the people who are fishing on the surface they are saying that these ones Corda Mixag hooks are the best because they were designed for that kind of fishing. And I total, totally agree, I think they are great hooks, they are strong, they are li uh, fine wire, very sharp and just perfect shape for fishing for carp of the top. So I will grab one of them in size 10. You don't really need any bigger hooks for like proper floater fishing when using floating dog biscuits or that size or over that size baits. Then you need to choose a correct pellet band. There are quite a few pellet bands but I discovered that these ones the Drennan latex pellet bands in like uh, large size brown ones do hold the pellets the best for me when you put a pellet inside it. The only problem with these bands is that uh, they are dark brown and uh, pellets and dog biscuits especially like pedigree mixers after a couple minutes in the water they uh, go a little bit whiter so when you put a fresh pellet into the band it looks good but after a while it changes the color the biscuit itself because water obviously attacks it and washes away all the color. So you should investigate which pellets do work for you and for me personally these Drennan ones do work the best because they hold the pellet inside the best for me and if I need to make sure that my hook bait blends in very well with the band I would replace the uh, hook bait quite often. Then you will need quite fine braid line. I would say the finer you can get the better. In this case I'm using Diva G braid at it says 0.06 millimeters diameter but it's not that fine it, in Japanese uh, marking it's 0.6 so it would make about 0.12 still it's relatively fine so I will need about I would say 20 centimeters of that and then the most important bit you thread the pellet band onto that braided line just like that. Then you take your hook and pass both uh, ends of the braided line with the pellet band on that line through the hook's eye starting from the opposite 
and then the hooks point. So once you have your hook on the double top line, braided line, you grab your hook and the band on the eye more or less, or at least it works the best for me when, when, when I'm holding this assembly like that. And then you split your lines just to the opposite directions. And then you do the following steps. You just grab one end and turn it around the shank, making sure that you are still holding the hook. It's not easy and uh, I did see other people do use some kind of like pliers to secure the hook so they would have both of their hands free to work with this. So yeah, I will try to do it without any pliers. Most people do just just one time, like one time with this tag end and one time with this end and then that's it. But I like to do a couple times just to make it a little bit more secure. Now we have this and now the key is we want to tie a little, not very, very close to the hook's shank. This looks good already, but we want to tie a knot. And uh, the way to tie a knot very close to the to the hook is the following one. First of all, you do just a simple surgeon's knot, just like that. But you don't tie it yet. You put a needle inside of that knot, and you are not allowing to uh, for the knot to get tied and uh, then you will be able to pull that knot very close to the hook's mm, wire or shank. And when it's close enough, then you can just pull the needle out just like that and give a little pull to those two uh, tag ends and then the knot will tie itself up properly and you will end up with the knot which is touching the hook's shank and then all it's left to do is to trim off the tag and I would say you want to leave, pro leave probably mm, one or two millimeters next to the knot and that's it. So you can see the band is more or less touching the hook side, but it also has a little bit of uh, it has a little bit of movement because the braid is supple. And now, if you would want to attach this hook to your hook link, in this case, as you can see, I'm using black one, so you would be able to see it better. But in your case, you will be using obviously something clear and floating line and uh, obviously then you will use your most favorite knot to attach the hook to the hooks well to the hook link for me it's a polymer all you do is just to thread the hook onto double line and then make a simple surgeon's knot using the double top line and then you have a little loop and you just pull that, well, pull the hook through that loop. You want to wet the line just before pulling it tight, of course. And that's the strongest knot you can get. And that's it. Perfect little setup which is absolutely perfect because as you can see the hook's point will always be looking towards the angler or towards the float and will be ready to hook the fish once the fish takes the hook bait. As you can see it was pretty simple. The basic and the most important thing when tying the band onto the hook side is to make sure that the band is as close to the hook's shank or to the eye as possible so you want that the band actual rubber would be touching the 
metal uh, hooks metal and by doing that or, or trying to achieve that you will make sure that this kind of rig or uh, hook bait presentation is working perfectly and now let's have a quick look how you can or how you should to attach your floating hook bait on to uh, or into that pellet band the simplest way to have the hook bait or dog biscuit in this case i have a pedigree mixer attached to the pellet band is just to band it as it was designed to so and that's it as you can see the hook bait has plenty of movement but still the hook bait is very very close to the hook and when all this will be sitting in the water the hook will be like sitting just below the hook bait but still it will have plenty of movement when the fish will suck it all the stuff in it will be hooked immediately because the hook bait can move very easily and of course it will help to land more fish as well because the hook bait is moving and won't get in the way somehow when uh, you will be fighting with the fish right but this uh, type of hook bait attachment sometimes is not good enough because sometimes you will need to cast far or sometimes you won't be using any floats and all the weight to cast will be just this little hook bait which obviously is not very heavy and then uh, quite often when you will be punching this little thing out the hook bait will come off then it's a very little trick just to drill the bait I will try to quickly demonstrate that I will use a simple like a bait drill I'll try to go as centrally as possible. That will do. Then all you do is just take a baiting needle and pull the band inside of that bait. I would say you want to wet the band a little bit because otherwise you might break the band whilst pulling it in especially if you will be uh, doing that repeatedly because it's obviously lots of stretch on the band then then is the case very simple like the following one you just stretch the band and slide the hook bait on it and you don't need any like boily stops or anything the band is obviously holding or the hook bait is holding on to the band very well and it will never uh, ever come off as you can see it's holding perfectly so yeah very little trick and I quite liked this kind of uh, assembly it's a little bit more time consuming but when I put one one hook bait on using this way I know that I will catch at least one fish without changing uh, my hook bait and also it's very important that uh, I can use those dark brown bands which are uh, which would be not as good after a couple minutes in the water because these biscuits would go uh, lighter in color obviously that band would be like more visible of course i don't think that it matters too much to the fish because they will be looking from the above and uh, all thing will look black anyways because it will be like a silhouette or a shadow so yeah two ways of attaching a hook bait onto the band for floater fishing and that's more or less everything i wanted to say in this video but before saying goodbye i will recap or summarize what i showed and explained in this video so the idea by trying to attach the pellet band onto hook's eye is to make sure that the hook's point is towards the angler or towards the float so by doing so you will achieve perfect uh, hooking like or bolt rig uh, assembly also you want to have your bait very very close to the hook then the shadow will hide the hook a little bit better and uh, the fish will take that hook bait with a hook much much more confidently and that's it for today thanks for watching and see you in the next one